We're going to jump right in with lesson one in Final Cut Pro. This is the first in 10 different lessons that will get us the skills that we need to consider ourselves certified in Final Cut Pro. And if we wanted to go off to Chicago or to New York or LA or where there's an Apple authorized training center, we could take that certification test and we could have a little something that we could put on our resume, set us apart from other people. So in this particular lesson, it's quick, it's short, it's not too difficult. We're gonna download and prepare lesson media files. That's easy enough. We're gonna understand the basic Final Cut Pro workflow. There's three parts to it, and we just wanna understand beginning, middle, end. How do we get from in Final Cut Pro to out into the world? Well, before we import that media, we do wanna talk just a second about what Final Cut Pro expects in terms of the quality of your hard disk. Now. I know this is a little bit of a professional level information, but we're gonna talk about it for just a second. First of all, all we're saying is Final Cut Pro and video editing in general expects us to have a hard drive that will go fast. So a 7200 RPM, that's rotations per minute. And if we've got that, then we can edit video. Alternately, we could have a solid state drive. Now it turns out your computer has both of those together. Mine has a solid state drive, so we're in good shape. We're ready to go, so let's get into the media. Mine are right here on the desktop. Click the link in this quest and download these five files. One, two, three, four, five, six files. <laughs> there you go. Um, you're gonna find them in your downloads folder. For me, it's on the desktop. You know, that's just where mine is. I'm gonna open a new desktop window and I'm gonna make a new folder. I can either right click and make a new folder. I can go file, new folder, or I can hit the keyboard shortcut, command shift N. And then I'm gonna shift click this bottom one and I'm going to right click and choose open. That's gonna unzip all of those files. So I'm gonna have four folders. I'm gonna have this GoPro file and I'm gonna have this Final Cut Pro library. So once those are all, well, unzipped, I'm going to command click to select all of those six unzipped items, and I'm gonna drag them into that Final Cut Media file. From here, I can safely delete these. That was command delete, that's command backspace delete, and then flip down the arrow, make sure they're all in there. I've got what I need. I can put this into my documents if I want to, but for now, I'm just gonna keep it on the desktop so that we can wrap up with the last little step here, and that is talking about the overall workflow of Final Cut Pro. Now this is in three parts. Really simple. Part number one is the import phase. So we've already done some of this. We start over here in the browser. We start with bringing that footage into Final Cut Pro. That's the import phase. We gotta know all we can know about this. We gotta know what these settings mean. We gotta know the type of media we're dealing with. We gotta know what type of video that Final Cut Pro is gonna convert that to in the background. So that's step number one. Step number two is the editing phase. That's where we get down here and we make all of the cuts. That's where we make a secondary level, a uh, uh, storyline like this, excuse me. Uh, that's where we add our music. That's where we mix it in. That's where we give all of our clips different uh, roles like this. So you see these clips are multicolored. That's where we learn about what these little icons right here mean so we can use auditions. Okay, that's the editing phase. Transitions, all that stuff. And then lastly, how do we get this out into the world? This is the share phase, the publishing phase. That's the final step. And that's the one, two, three. That's all this is about. Final Cut Pro overview. Get the media, get it set, ready to go. And now we understand we got import, we got edit, and we got publish. So those are all of lesson one tidbits. Now you're ready to go back to school, G take a quiz and prove that you are certified in level one, lesson one.